Hey Cloud Gurus, and welcome to this episode of Azure This Week. In this episode, we'll take a look at some of the major Azure announcements from Microsoft Build, Microsoft's principal developer conference, which was held in Redmond earlier this month. There are loads of announcements, so in the interest of brevity, we're going to focus on compute, AI, and IoT. First up, Azure Event Grid now has first-class support for the Cloud Events Open Standard, meaning that you can push Azure Storage Events to the Cloud Events format using your processing platform of choice, or you can ingest that data and process it natively in Azure. Event Grid is now also supported in the Japan East and West and Australia yeah, East and Southeast data centers. The Durable Functions extension for Azure Functions has now gone GA. This allows developers to orchestrate code-first long-running workflows where the session is stateful in nature. Durable Functions is complementary to Azure Logic Apps, and there's a useful summary in this online doco. Azure App Service has had a major uplift, with support for Windows containers now in public preview. App Service diagnostics and remote debugging for container-based apps have been extended to App Service on Linux, which is now also in public preview for App Service environments which is excellent news for Linux-based apps which need to be tightly bound with Azure Virtual Networks. Azure App Service now also supports multi-container app deployments. Just upload your Docker Compose or Kubernetes pod definition and App Service will provision the entire thing end-to-end -end for you. In addition to the recent announcement that Service Fabric is going open source, Microsoft announced at Build that Service Fabric is being extended to support serverless workloads so you'll be able to deploy container-based microservices to a Service Fabric instance and scale on-demand with per-second costing. This functionality is currently in private preview and you can sign up at this URL. In the space of artificial intelligence on Azure, the build announcements were all about enhancements to cognitive services, and there were many of them. Rather than go through all of them, although you can read the full list of announcements here, let's focus on two in particular. There's now a unified speech service, which is available in preview. This gives you the ability to perform text-to-speech, speech-to-text, and speech translation via a single API endpoint. Also, the custom vision service, which is also in preview, has been updated to support object recognition, and you can now download custom vision modules in TensorFlow, OpenML, and Onyx formats. The custom vision service can also now be packaged as a container and deployed to an IoT Edge device. As the IoT Edge runtime has not only been made open source, yes, that's right, even more open source from Microsoft, but it has also been updated to support the deployment of cognitive services to Edge devices. This means that in addition to deploying Azure Functions, Stream Analytics, Machine Learning, SQL Server, and Service Fabric to the Edge, you can start creating distributed AI solutions. Just don't be cute and call your project Skynet because we know that that's not going to end well. Microsoft has also announced an IoT serverless hackathon with $20,000 US in prize money up for grabs. Just build an awesome IoT solution with Azure serverless services and all the fame and the cash could be yours. Register here and get your submission in by the 2nd of August. Finally, an amazing demo shown at Build was VS Code Live Share, an extension for Visual Studio and Visual Studio Code, which is now available in preview. This enables developers to collaborate on projects in real time across different platforms, so Windows, Linux, Mac. Seriously, everyone, check this solution out. You authenticate using your Microsoft or your GitHub account, select a project to share, and send out the generated link. You and your colleague can see code being highlighted and changed in real time no infrastructure needed. My colleague and I tried this out in the Cloud Guru's Melbourne office earlier this week and we were up and running in seconds. Seriously everyone, it is so cool, check it out. And that's it for this episode of Azure This Week, where we looked at some of the major Azure announcements from Microsoft Build, specifically in the areas of compute, AI and IoT. You can read the full list of Azure announcements here and make some time to check out the recorded keynote and breakouts, which are now available on Microsoft Channel 9. Until next week, keep being awesome, Cloud Gurus.